In the Health Hub today, Chief Quality Officer of Metro Health, Dr. Brooke Watts. We've been quarantined for 11 days since my daughter returned from Thailand. She has been symptom free, but I've been sick, presumably with coronavirus. I'm at day nine now and still with intermittent fever. How long does my family have to remain quarantined? At a minimum of seven days and generally at least 72 hours after fevers have resolved. So this is, um, it's important again, and it's a great question to continue to quarantine and to be really sure that you're better. And certainly during that time, if you develop worsening symptoms, if your shortness of breath is getting worsening, if you're not able to eat and drink um, and you're feeling worse, that would be something where you'd want to consult your doctor. Have the hospitals already been separating the soiled N95 masks in preparation for the Battelle cleaning? So we are very excited that the technology was approved. Truthfully, most of us see this plan as a backup to the backup to the backup. At this point, we're not to a place where we need to think about recycling or re-sterilizing our N95s, but it's very important that we have access to that technology to do so when we need it. How many Ohio patients have been given hydrochloroquine or chloroquine, and of those, how many have died and how many have recovered? Hydrochloroquine or Plaquenil, which is a medication that we use for um, auto, other autoimmune disease and certain infectious diseases. Um, there's some evidence that this may be a benefit. I think what we're really asking at this point is that it, nobody take this without medical in, um, indication. I'm sure, I think we're all aware there have been several bad um, outcomes from people who are not infected with COVID-19 who've tried to self-treat. Um, these medications can have some side effects um, that can be quite dangerous. Committed to bringing you facts, not fear. Monica Robbins, 3 News.